Are you guys stuck vaping like me and didn't figure out how to quit until you saw this video? Well, I did quit before this and I'm here to join you guys in vaping again to then quit again. How did I want to do it? Well, it was mainly because I lost my replacement vape for a vape that I'm waiting for in the mail. Warranty replacement type manufacturing thing. Still been waiting for a long time because of the Chinese New Year and we got our vape here. We figured it out. We found it. And out of that time, I wanted to share with you, the viewer, whoever's watching this, why you should quit as well as why I have decided to quit generally. Over the last three and a half years, I've been stuck vaping once again. And I'll tell you that it's mainly because of the pandemic. When the pandemic hit, I was in a very weird situation. I was living with my mom, parents, family, whatever you want to call it. But in general, there are certain types of obligations and expectations you get. One of them is if you get asked to sit outside, well, uh, your mom's smoking a cigarette. It's kind of something that you do, you know, uh, at least it's something that I did. Um, something I probably shouldn't have knowing that it wasn't good for me to be around that type of thing. And if you are one of those people that um, can't hold themselves back in situations, you should probably find yourselves away from those situations until you can handle them. Right now where I'm at is I found my vape, haven't hit it, uh, went on like a five mile walk before and um, we're still good, we're still hanging. I'll tell you that one of the biggest and greatest benefits so far of everything that we've done this week has been with the Tony Robbins Become Unshakable seminar program, which it's free to jump in. You can check all those days in the past. Yeah, you got me on a cut there. Hopefully we don't have any more, but I thought it was a really good thing. I thought I'd share it with you. The Tony Robbins Unshakable Become Unshakable. It's something that honestly is transformative in a lot of different ways if you make it work and you dedicate yourself to it to learn, be teachable, and all that stuff. Either way, we're looking at these bottles of juice and we will have another device that we're gonna be giving away. It's so weird. Why do you talk about quitting but then also give away stuff? One thing that I'll say is that I've never been a big proponent to promote or even want to let people vape elf bars or any of those disposables, mainly because of the disposables and the way that they've been tested is really dirty. If you've ever seen one of those videos where you've got one of those poor souls literally cranking out lung after lung pump of himself, here's a video of it right here. I mean, I'll put it on the screen generally. I'm not very happy to look at that, but I'll find it and edit it into this video. But generally, it's not good for them and it's just sad to see. But beyond that, the nicotine content wasn't even high enough for me. And I'll say for any of you people that are nicotine salt vapors is um, 50 milligrams of nicotine is the max nicotine that you can hit. And if you're hitting it like 2000 times a day, you are hitting much more nicotine than you have ever hit in your life. Whether then it seems just so convenient and easy or not, it is something that you are making history with. I didn't realize that until probably Sunday night where I was just in a mood where I was looking at it and I kept looking at my vape. I kept looking at it. I said, I have hit you so many times. I wake up, I hit it. I go to bed, I have it in my bed. I'm looking for it in my bed. You know, that's one thing that I am so happy to talk about and say that I am uh, over. The biggest thing to be over is losing the vape. Beyond needing or wanting the nicotine, the losing the vape, having to spend time looking for the vape, it's honestly... We could all be better without it. The amount of time we'd save just from not having to try to look for the vape is worth it. And I'm still looking at it like, man, I cannot wait for this video to end where I hit it and then we quit it again. But in general, beyond the actual wasting time on looking for it, money-wise, if you are smoking cigarettes, you definitely should be vaping and hopefully you are putting in some comments into the sweepstakes for what we're giving away because if you do smoke cigarettes, the game is to go from cigarettes to vaping and vaping just to nothing. That's really where it goes because if you're not going outside for that time to smoke, you'll start disassociating going outside with smoking, but then you're at a whole new problem where you actually have to worry about associating being inside with vaping and nicotine, which on its own is some other level of shit that you got to deal with. So if you can get around that, don't even jump to vaping. I'd say vaping is way more addictive than smoking cigarettes. Like, I'll light a cigarette, I'll take two puffs, I guess. Even if I did, I honestly, I, I, I hate it. It's, it tastes so bad. That's the one thing that I'll say about people that can't get over smoking cigarettes is like, get to the vaping so at least you associate those cigarettes with ashtrays. Like, you're like trying to lick an ashtray. That's what I would recommend. 
Um, beyond that, I would say that for your health, uh, when it comes to your teeth or my teeth, this is what I think about. I think about how it's definitely affecting my gums. It's probably pushing gum disease, periodontal disease. Um, beyond that, with salts and those types of minerals, I mean, your saliva has salt in it. So I would think that saliva salt and nicotine salt would bind to each other as, uh, as I guess, solvents. I don't know, maybe I'm using that wrong, word wrong. But, um, and from there, I think that it actually increases the amount of buildup of plaque that you end up having on your teeth. Um, it won't stain your teeth nearly the same depending on what uh, grade of milligram of nicotine you got in there, like 50 milligram probably. I mean, you can see how yellow this thing is. And if you let it sit longer, you throw this thing in a room for a year, this thing will turn brown, black. So, I mean, all nicotine will discolor whatever it's dealing with. Um, the lung factor when it comes to actually being healthy and like running, worst thing that I've ever seen in my life is like 16 year olds, 17 year olds, they're big vapors back in the day. This was like when I was 25, I think, 26, like three years ago, four years ago. But in general, playing basketball with them, doing some two on two on like half court at, on, in you know a driveway or whatnot. And like, I can hear all of these kids like just huffing, puffing, breathing hard as fuck, man. And honestly, really left me with a different uh, top of mind, uh, sight of mind, whatever you want to call it. You can probably figure out what I'm saying, but um, that was a big one. And that made me feel bad because, I mean, I wasn't the first one to give my stepbrother, not my stepbrother, my half-brother. It's so hard to fucking call it. I would call it my brother, but like, I'm trying to be very distinct with the relationship because like, it's my half-brother. But, um, you know, nicotine because... Um, we all do things for dollars and we shame ourselves for them. It's one of them for me. Um, though he was getting nicotine from other places, I was like, yeah, I'll just jump in, you know. But promoting that stuff, being a part of it, not good. Don't do that. But getting back to the kids and vaping, very bad for them. Uh, I've heard just too much huffing and puffing from like a crew of straight up hockey players that um, should not be even remotely like tired from like a couple of rounds. So um, that was a big problem beyond that, just for your own health. I mean, not that good for you and it's gonna crack out your mind it's gonna have you staying up late and pushing hours where you should not be staying up and you should be regulating your circadian rhythm and all that different stuff which is uh, super important i know i've got this super long uh tablet of paper in front of me which is the tony robbins uh become unshakable uh seminar but in general i'd recommend you guys check out the five days i'll put them in the links in the description below Hopefully this has been something to talk you through, at least thinking about quitting vaping because it's not good for you. I wish you the best and I wish myself the best and I wish myself the best because I want to be able to help more people. And if I'm doing this type of thing, I'm definitely hurting myself on helping more people because at some point I'm going to run out of gas here. So thanks for checking out this video as always. Oh, wow. My camera cut out for a second for some reason. That was weird. Hopefully I got everything. That's weird. Double check. I was just monologuing so hard. Oh, it's still recording. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Either way. Uh, I don't have anyone telling me nothing. I'm a one man team here. Um, beyond the uh, nicotine nights and then the charging. Oh, the, uh, the, uh, the, I mean, if you're doing disposables or whatever, you're not running into the issue of having juice and having to refill and then having juicy fingers and then having leakage and then having spitting. But uh, those are big issues too. When you're having the spitting uh, issue with these nicotine sticks, I'd say that, I mean, it's really bad for your mouth. Um, they even say on the bottles, do not expose to skin. Um, your gums. Yeah, mouth. It's skin, dude. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's mouth, but it's still a type of skin. It's mouth skin, you know. But um, yeah, we will be giving one of these away. Um, we got one fresh coming in the mail, so um, it'll probably be here tomorrow. We'll be doing sweepstakes. Just throw your uh, comment into the comment section below, and I'll be sure to try to add you to the list, which we will be coming back with for uh, March. We're going to be doing a Turpy Thursday because everyone loves Thursdays. And um, beyond that, we'll be doing a sweepstakes on this as well as some other 3D prints. So we'll be doing just basically we'll be coming on, spinning the wheel, 
We'll be doing some time where we'll just be chilling, probably doing some 3D modeling or something. Then we'll do another sweepstakes, and then we'll do a member sweepstakes. Hopefully by then, I've got a better plan of action together for you guys, and I appreciate you guys spending the time watching this video. Hopefully I said something that was uh, not repetitive and at the same time informative. So that's really my goal here. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't, please do, or become a member, help support the work that we do here. And beyond that, stay elevated. And uh, peace out. I didn't actually hit this thing. Wow. Was that a good list or what? Like, I thought that was a pretty good list. So, um, I almost don't even want to hit this thing again. What? That's weird. It's literally my camera's cutting out now. But either way, um, I hope you guys quit with me. That's really my goal here. So, if I can get more people to quit with me, that's really where I'm at. I'm um, not going to really say anything bad about if you don't quit, but generally I care about you and um, I want to see you here in the years as we keep growing on this channel and everything that we do. So I um, appreciate you. Let's, uh, oh, man, I almost don't even want to break the six days because like, man, I'll tell you, those six days, that's another thing. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. It's just, a, it's just raw. It's just raw. I, <laughs> raw footage. Six days, day one, day two, day three, I literally slept through the whole fucking thing. I did not want to wake up at all. I just fucking sleep, 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 sleep. So like, even at this point, I'm looking at it, I'm like, man, do I even want to go through that? Like, that was probably the hardest part was three days, four days. And like, the way it happened was I didn't just put this thing up. I literally just lost it and it was in my short drawer. Funny, but... I had enough time to ground myself to where I'm not, I'm like looking at it, it's loaded, the chamber's loaded, I could be hitting it, haven't hit it, but we're still here. Man, what a video. What a monologue. I really appreciate you guys for watching this at this point. We really got this far, huh? Um, yeah, that was tough. We're about to approach six, day six, but if you guys want to quit with me, quit with me. If not... I'll see you on the other side, and I'll keep preaching on why you guys should quit, because honestly, it was a hell of a couple days. But, like, that's because I was hitting my nicotine 2,000 times a day. Like, if you can hit it 2,000 times a day, how many minutes is that? Um, like, let's see. This is the last thing before we close up the video. For this time, I know. Uh, calculator. We got uh, 24 hours times 60 minutes times 60 seconds. We got 86,000 seconds. If we're doing 2,000 seconds, we're doing 43 hits a minute, basically. No. 43 hits every hour? I'm so confused by that. Either way, check out the Tony Robbins. Well, I, I hit the desk and everything just kind of cut out. Yo, that's weird. I got I to gotta fix that at some point. I don't, I don't know how that's happening, but we're going to change a whole bunch of stuff. Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, become a member, help support the work that we do on this channel. And if it's work that you don't see on this channel, put it in the comment below and I will be making a video for it. So you will subscribe, goddammit. So thanks for checking it out. Stay elevated and peace out. I didn't even hit this thing yet. We're, how many more of these am I going to do? How many more of these am I going to do? I, I mean... Damn, do I even want to hit this? That's the real question. No. Why? Because I hate looking at this thing. I hate running around for this thing. I hate having oily fingers. I hate trying to fucking find this thing when I lose it off the cuff. I hate having to refill it. I hate hitting it when it's dry. I mean, how many more things can you hate about this thing? The only thing that you like about it is that it gets you cracked out and keeps you up at night. But God. All right, guys. I don't even want to hit it. I don't even want to hit it. We're still... Still here. <sighs> Still here, man. Maybe the withdrawals this time won't be that bad. It was bad, dude. It was bad, dude. So bad that I'm still doing this video. How? Uh, look at that. 14 minutes, me monologuing. Hopefully I didn't repeat myself, but hey. Speak with your chest and uh, stay elevated, subscribe and all that. Either way. Um. I'm tasting way too much sugar. That's something that we got to talk about. If you're, if you're smoking this thing, 
You don't even know how much sugar is in this, but like I'm tasting it right now. That shit has so much sugar on it in it. You better not be eating any candy. Because that is probably like two times your sugar intake for a day in some type of concentrated form. Wow, 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 wee wow. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Hopefully you found it entertaining, and hopefully you find it more empowering to change your life in a way where you stop vaping, because I hope I do too, and we'll be there next week or whatever, honestly, because we are pretty much there, honestly, just tasting that. I'm like, we've got a couple more therapy sessions we got to do with ourselves. We'll talk about that at some point. Maybe we'll be making some videos going traveling. That would be cool. Either way, stay elevated for the last time, as always. Love you guys. Thanks for making this channel what it is. We're going to be moving forward with the other channel, too. So check that out in the description. Beyond that, man, how many more times can I repeat myself on that one? Not many, but thanks for checking out the video, guys. Um, I should probably have my, uh, my outro screen together, but I didn't. Cheers. Welcome to the off. <laughs> Fuck that intro. Welcome all you guys to the intro of the video that I don't know.